welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I am so incredibly excited about today's video. We are going to be doing smoothie bowls. I have made five absolutely amazing and delicious smoothie bowls, all WW friendly, all with real, whole, clean food. And let me just tell you how delicious every single one of these smoothie bowls were. They were super filling. They were just really truly a well-rounded meal or snack. So I can't wait to share these five recipes for you. So if you wanna see my five smoothie bowls, stay tuned. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Today we are going to be making a green smoothie bowl. It's going to have greens, healthy fats like avocados, lots of fruit, nuts, and seeds. So let me show you what is in our green smoothie bowl. First you're going to need some flax seed or flax meal, whatever your preference is. I'm going to top my bowl with some chia seeds. You'll also need some milk of your choice. You could do coconut milk, almond milk, cashew milk. Also, I'm going to top my bowl with some of these organic dried goji berries from Thrive Market. Thrive is an amazing website. They're a market full of all whole organic food, household supplies, pets, things for your kids, beauty, you name it, they have it. There's a link down below that'll get you $20 worth of free product of your choice with a membership. So definitely go check out Thrive. Best prices, you guys, hands down for all of these things. So I did pick up my organic goji berries from there. I'm also going to top my smoothie bowl with some of these white mulberries from Essential Living. I did find these at my local health food store. These are just dried mulberries. And as you know, I do not count points for dried fruit. So these goji berries and mulberries will be zero points. I'm also going to top my bowl with some organic unsweetened flake coconut. For fruit in the smoothie bowl, we have a pineapple tidbits. We're going to do some baby spinach about a half of a frozen banana, a ripe avocado, and some mango chunks. So let's get started on our green smoothie bowl. So let's start our smoothie bowl. So the recipe makes two smoothie bowls. I only want one, cause I'm the only one eating it. So I have the recipe. So I did go ahead and do the full three quarters of a cup of almond milk. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. It doesn't change the points, and that way I have a little bit more liquid for blending up my smoothie. And then I have a quarter of an avocado here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. The riper, the better for the avocado. I also have one tablespoon of ground flax versus the two that the recipe called for. You can also use full flaxseed, not ground. And then for my fruit, I have about a half of a cup of some frozen pineapple. And then I also have my banana and literally like maybe six chunks of mango, not to go too crazy on the fruit. And then I have my spinach here and I'm gonna put in about a cup of the spinach. Now, if you need some additional liquid to not add any extra points. I will generally just add a little bit of water to thin it out. You're not even going to taste that in the actual smoothie. So I've got about my cup of spinach there that gives us that nice bit of greens. Pop our lid on and let's get this smoothie blending. All right, it's done. Look at that. Oh, Yum. That's so here is our smoothie bowl. Doesn't that look amazing, you guys? I'm so excited. So for the smoothie bowl itself, it's two points for the cashew milk that I used and one smart point for the flax seeds. Now for toppings, uh, you could do fresh fruit as well, but I'm going to do one tablespoon of chia seeds and that is one smart point for one tablespoon. And I like to just kind of put it out in like a line make it look really, really pretty. So I go ahead and add my one tablespoon of chia seeds. And then alongside that, I'm gonna do the one tablespoon of the organic white mulberries. Again, this is what those look like. It is literally just the mulberry, just the fruit. So I do count it as zero points. So again, I'm going to just kind of lay that out nicely alongside 
those chia seeds and you always want to kind of add like a little bit of color to your bowl with your toppings you could do granola i mean there's so many variations which you guys will see a lot of smoothie bowls in this video but this one i am going to do the mulberries and then i'm also going to do one tablespoon of unsweetened coconut now the chia seeds are one point and the one tablespoon of unsweetened coconut is also one smart point so we'll be adding those point values to the total of our smoothie bowl and then i have one tablespoon of the dried goji berries and again these are the ones from the thrive market best price you guys and it's just goji berries so i also count those as zero points and i made a mess okay so this one might not be as pretty we're going to, have to dig goji berries out of the rest of it but you're going to go ahead and just add a nice cute line of your goji berries and then whenever i make a smoothie bowl i do like to leave the uh w green or whatever color your smoothie bowl is as well so let's get a close-up of our finished bowl so here is our finished green smoothie bowl oh my gosh you guys this looks so incredibly delicious so let's go over the points it was three points for the base of the smoothie bowl like i mentioned i do not count blended fruit so it is three points for the bowl we have one point of chia and one point of coconut flakes so this is a five smart point smoothie bowl and this is so filling delicious and absolutely clean nutritious food For today's smoothie bowl, I'm going to be making a banana mango. I'm so excited for this. Well, I'm going to show you what is in the smoothie bowl itself and the toppings that I'm going to add to the top of the completed bowl. For the smoothie bowl, you're going to need some sort of milk. I'm just going to use this 0% organic milk from Great Value. Some coconut milk. You can use full fat or reduced fat. And then also some yogurt. I'm using the Trader Joe's whole milk plain yogurt cream on top. I love this yogurt. It's so creamy and delicious. You're also going to need half of a frozen banana. So I'm going to use one half of this and about a half of a cup of frozen mango chunks. I'm going to top my bowl with some pumpkin seeds. I picked these up at Costco. Thrive Market also has a great price on pumpkin seeds. Some chia seeds, again, from Costco Thrive Market again, great price for Chia. And then I grabbed the Trader Joe's Organic Unsweetened Coconut Flakes. I love coconut flakes on my smoothie bowls. So I'm going to add some of those. And lastly, I have some chopped up fresh papaya. So let's start our smoothie bowl. So to get started on our smoothie bowl, I've went ahead and measured out one quarter of a cup of the yogurt. You can use whatever yogurt you want. I recommend a full fat. It just adds a little bit more creaminess and it's actually a bit better for you overall. And then I have one quarter cup of my coconut milk. And then I also have one quarter cup of the non-fat milk or whatever milk you want to use for the base. And then all we're going to do is add our fruit. So here is my half of a banana and about a half of a cup of frozen mangoes. And then we're ready to get this blended up and that's going to be the base of our smoothie bowl. And there is the smoothie bowl mix. Oh my gosh, it looks and smells so good. So you're just going to go ahead and grab out whatever bowl you want to use. Go ahead and put your smoothie bowl mix in there. Oh, so excited for this, you guys. And then we're going to go ahead and add on our toppings. But look how amazing this looks. So for our toppings, we're going to make it pretty simple. I have some pumpkin seeds here in a one tablespoon measuring spoon. So I'm going to do one tablespoon of my pumpkin seeds. And I like to put them in my hand. And then that way I can make my bowl look nice and pretty and kind of put those in a line. So whenever you make a smoothie bowl, like I mentioned, you kind of want to put your toppings in a line so that it looks nice and aesthetically pleasing when you're done pretty food is always a lot more fun to eat so there is one tablespoon of pumpkin seeds and then i think i'm going to do my chia so i want about a half of a tablespoon of chia seeds you don't need a whole tablespoon for this little amount of a smoothie bowl and then again i'm going to just kind of make a nice little line of my chia and chia seeds are so good for you they have so many good nutritional benefits i generally always will add chia seeds to my smoothie bowls pretty much no matter what and then i'm going to do 
some papaya. So I have just about, I don't know, half of a cup or so of some chopped papaya. You can really use whatever fruit you want. I recommend fresh fruit as a topping for your smoothie bowl though versus frozen fruit. Now you can do frozen. I just think fresh fruit, just the texture of it makes your bowl taste really, really good. So there is my papaya. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing, you guys. I'm so excited. All right, and then last but certainly not least, I have some unsweetened coconut flakes and I'm going to add a tablespoon of those to my smoothie bowl. And then that is going to be it for the toppings. And again, you can do whatever you want. I like to add goji berries. That's another really good thing. If I'm not using a fresh fruit, I will often add a goji berries to my smoothie bowl because it's a really good health, heart healthy super fruit. All right, so here is today's smoothie bowl. Doesn't this look absolutely beautiful? I'm so excited for this. They're so filling and so delicious. So let's go over the points for our mango banana smoothie bowl. So for the smoothie bowl itself, the yogurt that I used is one point, the coconut milk is one point, the milk is one point. So that is three, I do not count points for blended fruit. And then for my toppings, my pumpkin seeds are one smart point, chia seeds are one point, papaya is zero, and coconut is one point. So this is a six smart point smoothie bowl. For today's smoothie bowl, I'm going to be making an acai bowl. I am so excited about this. So let me show you what is in the bowl and what toppings I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using the Trader Joe's organic acai puree packet. All that is in these is the actual acai. Here, I'll show you what the packets look like. So this is what the packet looks like. So these are awesome. They're the perfect size for a smoothie. So I'm gonna be putting one of these in my smoothie bowl. Also some frozen pineapple. I'm going to use the last of this triple berry medley. Organic non-fat milk as my liquid along with, this is the reduced fat coconut milk from Trader Joe's. And then for toppings, I'm going to be adding some of this safe and fair birthday cake granola. You guys, this is so delicious. It is such good granola. It is nut free vegan. It's free from uh, the free from the nine major allergens that people find. So this is great if you don't eat a lot of grains or if you are paleo or vegan. These are also gluten-free, non-GMO. There's nothing artificial. It is about five points for one third of a cup, but I'm just going to add one point's worth to the top of my smoothie bowl. So the ingredients. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. They're good ingredients, but they're certainly not as clean as they could be because there's brown rice syrup and cane sugar and sunflower oil. And in the birthday cake one, there is natural color in the sprinkles. So again, not the best cleanest ingredients, but I'm going to still enjoy this. It is a good option for granola. If you're looking for, honestly, the best granola, it's the Pro Granola. It is absolutely 100% clean, but this one's a little sweet, and I thought it would be nice to add it to the top of my smoothie bowl. I will link this granola down below for you guys. I am also going to add some of the Essential Living Foods Golden Berries. You guys know I'm loving this brand. I love their smoothie powders. I love their dried fruit. These are literally just organic golden berries that's all that's in here so I count these as zero points and then I'm probably also going to top it maybe with a couple chunks of pineapple so let's make our acai bowl all right so let's start our bowl I went ahead and put my acai packet in my blender I also have about a quarter cup of the frozen berries and about half of a cup of the frozen pineapple chunks so I'm going to go ahead and add those one quarter cup of my Trader Joe's coconut milk. I decided to add some spinach. It always is nice to get a little bit of extra greens in a smoothie bowl. You don't even taste it and really it's just such a good way to get those extra greens. And then I'm going to put in about a half of a cup of non-fat milk. I'm going to get this started to blend and I will add an additional quarter cup of non-fat milk if needed. So let's blend our smoothie bowl. Alrighty, we've got a smoothie bowl. Look at this, you guys, yum. So let me get this in the bowl and we'll add our toppings. So let's put some toppings on this. This looks so 
good. So first, actually first, let's put on the last little bit of pineapple here. It's literally going to be maybe an eighth of a cup, well, maybe a quarter of a cup of pineapple. I do like to use fresh fruit, but it's just not in season right now. So frozen fruit's good, especially if you just kind of let it thaw a bit before you put it on your smoothie bowl. So let's add a little bit of pineapple. Next, I'm going to put half of a tablespoon of chia seeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those right alongside my pineapple and you know I like to make my bowls look as pretty as possible so there is half of a tablespoon of chia seeds and then I'm going to add some golden berries and again I count these as zero points because it's literally just a dried berry and berries are super low in points anyway so I'm going to add I would guess if I were to measure it out, maybe two to three tablespoons of these berries. And I'm just going to kind of add them and make a fun little line in my smoothie bowl. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. We've got superfoods in the acai. We have superfood in the golden berries. And then lastly, I'm going to add one point's worth or about two tablespoons of my birthday cake granola and that's just going to give me some added sweetness and some added yummy crunch to my smoothie bowl so there we go you guys let me bring you up close and personal this looks amazing all right so here's today's acai bowl you guys this is about as superfood as you can get between those golden berries and acai you've got some chia seed for some added health benefits and a little bit of protein so let's go through the points so in the actual smoothie bowl itself all of the fruit i count is zero points so it is two points for the milk that i use both the fat-free milk and the coconut milk the granola that i added is also two smart points the berries are zero, the chia seed is one smart point, and the pineapple is zero. So it's three for the smoothie bowl, two for the granola, one for the chia seed. This is a six smart point smoothie bowl, and this is amazing. Such good, whole, clean food. For today's smoothie bowl, I'm going to be making a cherry almond i'm really excited about this i do not have almond extract so if you do you could add that as well but i don't have any so let me show you first what is in the smoothie bowl and secondly my toppings you're going to need some milk or milk alternative of your choice i'm going to be using my forager cashew milk some flaxseed you could use chia seed if you don't have flaxseed some type of either protein powder or some type of a greens or a smoothie powder so i'm going to be using this essential living organic wild protein smoothie mix i really like this i actually just purchased a second bag you can buy this on amazon i will link it down below for you guys what's great about this is it just has really really good ingredients and it adds kind of that creamy texture that a protein powder would add and I really like it it's really low point and it adds a really good flavor you're also going to need some frozen cherries and a frozen banana and then for toppings I may add a couple of cherries and I'm going to be adding this crunchy dry dragon fruit I picked this up at Costco it's really good so I'm just going to break up a couple pieces of that I'm also going to top it with some cacao nibs because what's better than cherries and chocolate and this I picked up off of the Thrive website and that website is linked down below and i'm going to be adding just some sliced almonds and this is from the online company called nut stop i really like these guys they have great prices i do not have an affiliate link but i do have just a code for you guys and it is on the screen here and it saves you 10 percent i buy a lot of stuff off of nut stop so i'm going to be adding some of these slivered almonds to the top of my smoothie bowl so let's make a smoothie bowl. So let's put together our smoothie bowl. So I have one half of a cup of my almond milk. And again, you can use any milk or milk alternative of your choice. To that, I'm going to add, this is about three quarters of a cup of frozen cherries. And then I'm also going to add in my full frozen banana. And that's the fruit base of our smoothie bowl. And then to that, I'm also going to add one tablespoon of my ground flax. And I have two teaspoons of that essential living smoothie powder. And then I'm going to add a half of a cup of water and we'll get this blended up. So 
So here is our smoothie bowl mix. Oh my gosh, you guys, this smells so good. So let's get this put into a bowl and add some toppings. All right, we'll go ahead and pour that in. Oh my gosh, yum. It's nice and thick, the perfect consistency for a smoothie bowl. And then here are my toppings. So I think I'm going to start with my dragon fruit. I do count this as zero points just because all that's in here is dragon fruit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add kind of a nice line of that. You wanna try to put your toppings on your smoothie bowl in a pretty line. Just makes your bowl look a little more appealing and we always like to eat food that looks pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my dragon fruit. I have about, I don't know, maybe three chunks total. I have a few small chunks in here and then I had kind of a larger chunk and I'm just breaking this up into about bite-sized pieces. So there's really no rhyme or reason here to the dragon fruit. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so good. And then next to my dragon fruit, I'm gonna add one point's worth of my cacao nibs. This'll give that really chocolatey and cherry flavor. And these cacao nibs are really, really good for you. They're full of a lot of vitamins and antioxidants. So it adds that nice crunch and chocolate but it also gives you that boost of vitamins which is awesome and then next to that I'm gonna go ahead and just add a few of the frozen cherries just to add a little bit of fruit to the top I always like to add fruit to my completed smoothie bowl I just think that it gives that that nice flavor and texture of having some fruit on there so there's some cherries and last but not least I have a one point worth of those slivered almonds and I'm gonna go ahead and line those up right Right alongside the cherry and that's where the cherry and almond comes into play for this smoothie bowl I am so incredibly excited to eat this it looks amazing so let me show you guys our completed bowl and give you the smart points all right so here's our beautiful smoothie bowl I'm so excited about this so for the smoothie bowl itself we have one smart point for the cashew milk we have one smart point for the flax seed and one smart point for the smoothie powder. So that makes the bowl three smart points. And as far as toppings go, I have, I said one smart point of cacao nibs, I actually have two smart points of cacao nibs. So I apologize for that. So two points of those and one point of almonds. So this entire smoothie bowl is only six smart points. I can't wait to dig in. I'm going to make a smoothie bowl today and we are doing a dragon fruit smoothie bowl it is going to be bright pink I cannot wait for this so let me show you what's in the smoothie bowl and what toppings I'm using first I'll be using this organic dragon fruit supreme this is the fruit I'm going to pick out only the dragon fruit and the coconut just so that the color stays bright pink and then I'm going to add half of a frozen banana and for liquid I'll do some coconut water and I'm also going to add half of a scoop of this vanilla a little less naked whey protein just to get a little bit of protein. I will link this down below for you guys. Great ingredients in that. And then we're gonna top our bowl with some chia seeds, some dried dragon fruit. It's actually white and black, so it's gonna be super cute on there. We'll do some pumpkin seeds and some unsweetened coconut. So let's make a smoothie bowl. All right, so for a smoothie bowl, I pulled out my blender. I'm going to add my coconut water. I'm going to put in about a half of a cup of coconut water. We want our smoothie bowl thick, so we don't need a ton of liquid, just enough to make sure that it gets blended. And then look at this beauty. I'm so excited. That's the dragon fruit and coconut. I just pulled that out of that mix. So we're gonna go ahead and add in that. And then I have my one half of my frozen banana. So we'll add that. And then one half of a scoop of the Naked Whey protein. So I'll go ahead and add one half of a scoop of that. And that's just, again, going to give us that little bit of protein boost in our smoothie bowl. And then we'll get this blended up. Look. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at that. It is bright pink. So let's get this in a bowl and add those toppings. All right, let's put this together. I'm excited to see this. It's gonna be so pretty. Wow, look at that, yum. And dragon fruit isn't super sweet, so I'm glad that I went ahead and added the banana. But look at that bright pink color. It's nice and thick. So let's add the topping. So first, let's see. First, let's do some chia seeds. So I'm gonna do about a half of a tablespoon of chia seeds. 
So this is a one tablespoon, and I'm just going to put that nice along the side like we've been doing, kind of make pretty rows in our smoothie bowls. Chia seeds have a ton of antioxidants. They're just really, really heart healthy. So it's nice to have those, and they add kind of a nice texture to the smoothie bowl as well. So one half of a tablespoon of those. Next, we're gonna put some of our dried dragon fruit. And again, I'm just going to do a very small amount just kind of in a row. You just wanna break it up into smaller pieces. And again, the only ingredient in this dragon fruit is dragon fruit. So I count it as zero points, especially if I'm not using a whole lot of it, which I won't be. Um, probably two or three full pieces, cause these are just little pieces that are in the bag. So we're gonna make a row of dragon fruit. Next, we're gonna do one tablespoon of pumpkin seeds. So we have a tablespoon of those and we're just gonna make a nice, pretty row of the pumpkin seeds that's going to give our bowl a little bit of color i do also like to put fresh fruit on my bowl but i think because i'm using the dry dragon fruit um, and i don't count blended fruit i'm going to skip that on this bowl and then lastly we're just going to put about a half of a tablespoon of coconut flakes so just hardly any just a little bit along there for some color oh my goodness you guys i am so excited for this this is going to be so incredibly delicious so let me flip you around and show you our bowl so here is our dragon fruit coconut smoothie bowl this looks so good bright pink it's probably not as bright on camera as it is in real person but this looks so delicious so for the smoothie bowl itself it is one smart point for the half of a scoop of protein powder and one smart point for the coconut water so that is two smart points and then we have one smart point of chia seeds one point of pumpkin seeds and one of coconut so this is only five smart points and i cannot wait to eat this Thank you for joining me on today's smoothie bowl recipe video. I hope you enjoyed seeing these five smoothie bowls. I'm telling you, every single one was so good. Not only are they beautiful to look at, but they taste absolutely delicious. I have linked all five smoothie bowls down in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. Also is the link to join the Thrive Market, get that $20 worth of free products, and all of the other links and discount codes to everything that I love that I can save you some money on. Also in the description box is the link to head on over and join my Facebook group. We have 15,000 members who would love to have you join us. We are very supportive. We share tons of great recipes and ideas and just a lot of love and support. So we'd love it if you'd head on over and join us there. If you're new, welcome, welcome. I'd love for you to stick around subscribe, hit that little bell just so you're notified whenever a new video is uploaded. You don't want to miss a single one. Thumbs up this video if you love smoothie bowls and comment down below. I want to hear from you guys. What is the one smoothie bowl you're most excited to try? Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.